All right, so let's go ahead and set up Claw here. So search the encounter deck for defense network side scheme and then reveal it. Oh, come on, where is it? So just like last time, I got to take out defense network before I take out anything else. And then when I flip this over, um, discard cards until from the encounter deck until you a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play. Engage with the first player. And then that starts with three threat. And funny enough, Black Widow actually has twos on all of her cards. I don't know if you guys can see it that well here. Hold on. There you go. Nice artwork on this too. I really like the art. Um, she's got two, so she's like just like Black Panther. Um, in terms of what you got on all the stuff. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Minion. Nope. Nope. Got a guard. Luckily, it doesn't scheme. So, if I have to worry about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and draw for Black Widow. I do not get any unique start bonuses. That's Natasha. And we'll get the party started. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking at everything. Oh, and then the armor guard comes out with tough. All right, so the whole gimmick with uh, Black Widow is that she's all about preparation cards, which both exist in her main deck and, like, um, you can get cards that are part of the four core um, stuff that have preparation on them. And then when she's in her alter ego mode, she draws a card every time you've played a preparation, and then every time a preparation card um, is triggered, ability out here, I deal one damage to an enemy. So that'll actually be really solid if I can pull some of that stuff off, if I can. All right, let's 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 get the party started here. So I guess what we'll do to start off is we'll play Genius to play our counter surveillance. Uh, valence. So when any amount of threat will be placed on the main scheme, discard counter intelligence, prevent three of that threat. So that's pretty good. Um, and the nice thing too is if I were to, fl well, well, I can't do it that way because the, uh, as a scheme, but it's fine. Um, let's let's do let's do Agent Call Center three. So when I play him, I get to search my deck and discard pile for a preparation card. Okay. I'm going to put that one in my hand and then I shuffle my deck afterwards. So that's in my hand. Um I will go to Black Widow, exhaust her to thwart, take off two, and then that will be it. So she readies. Uh, she has a hand size of five in this form. And then Claw shall attack me. So Claw is going to do two cards. Um... Oh, this is ironic. Um, one. One damage. No, I gotta set this to nine. Then, Armored Guard's gonna attack me for just one. And then, when, so take two damage. Claw heals two damage. Oh, I also need to reset this. 
forgot about that. Hold on. Ah! Hold on. So I'm going to take two damage. Oh, really? Wow. I'm already at five. Well, that's something special. Okay. All right. All right, that is it. My turn. Um... So, I'm going to do this. So, target acquired to play acrobatics. Oh, you know what? We're going to do this, too. Pretend that I already did this. Agent Coulson's going to take one. Get rid of the tough. Oh, and I forgot to do this. Um, we'll play Power of Justice to play this preparation. Actually, hold on. We're going to go to her side. Play the preparation. Draw like one card. And then I will exhaust her to regain three health. And then does Asian Coulson attack? Or does he thwart? I think we thwart. And get rid of the defense network. I think that is what we do. And then everyone readies up. And Claw will now scheme. So first, one gets put on here, and then Claw is going to scheme for two. And then the armored guard... Oh, wait. Schemes for two plus... Oh, boy. Electro is not here. Thank God. Um, schemes for four. So what we're going to do... Is that we're gonna use this um, this preparation to reduce the amount of it by three, so it's only gonna be one, and that goes away. And then when uh, Electro is boosted, discard three cards from the encounter deck. There we go. And then it doesn't scheme. I then get a a card. Discard one random card from your hand. It was the one I didn't want. Of course. All right. Um, oh, wait. You know what I just realized? I forgot to draw back up. Now let's do it. Hold on. I lost my train of thought. It's one of those days. Oh, that's one I don't want discarded either. That sucks. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go time. Okay. Um... We're gonna flip over to Black Widow. That is one thing I'm gonna do for sure. I'm gonna use the counterintelligence to play out Widow's Bite. I'm gonna exhaust it to play, or not Widow's Bite, Black Widow's Gauntlet to play Widow's Bite. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to attack the armor guard for two, and then use Agent Coulson to attack the rest of it. So the armor guard is gone. Thank God. 
Um, and I will keep these two cards in my hand. I'm going to stay on Black Widow's side. Because now this is when I can start dealing some serious damage with my preparations. So, um, let me make sure that... And that is not limited. So, for every preparation, I can pop off. So... Claw's going to attack me. Two cards. Um, so, let's discard this one. Or, no, so, he's going to deal two damage to me, which is fine. But I'm going to cancel one of those, because it would have been four, using this one. So I'm going to deal one damage for each boost icon canceled, which was two. And then I deal one from the, prepper, uh, the, the Black Widow preparation ability. So Claw is now at nine. Then, draw a card. We're going to discard this uh, Spycraft to not do this. The Electromagnetic Pulse. And when I do that, I also deal another damage to Claw. And then both of those ready up. And then that is it. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to put a, a thing on this one. Probably should have done that. Um, so how much these you got? So I guess the question is... So use Black Widow. Uh, the, the Black Widow's Gauntlet to play out Target Acquired. Then... We'll use all three of these to play Dance of Death, which in total is going to deal six damage to Claw. And then... Remove two Scheme. And then we're going to flip over. And then I'm going to draw... Six cards, everything readies. It's gonna scheme for three. And then our encounter. Attach okay, so it's the same thing I got. Um, when I do do when revealed effects, I have to resolve them twice. Unless I get rid of a tech resource, which I can easily do next turn. Okay. Alright. Do this. So, first thing I'll do. Get rid of surveillance team. Get rid of that card. I don't want to deal with that nonsense. Um, we'll use the power of justice to play another Black Widow's Gauntlet. And we'll exhaust one of them to play out Widow's Bite. And then when I do that, I draw a card. We'll go ahead and do Covert Ops to play out a Spycraft. I can't do the draw ability again. Actually, no. Keep that in there. Use the other Widow's Gauntlet to do that. Flip over. Hold on. Exhaust to recover. One, two, three. Then flip over. Kind of... No, Nikes. No, take it back. Get rid of the two threat because I think it's going to scheme up and it's going to make it so I have to deal with more nonsense later. Okay, all right. Um. Okay, everything ready's up. I'll keep these cards in hand. One, two. That's not necessarily what I want to see, but that's fine. So he is going to attack me. Um, 
So two boost cards. I can cancel a boost ability on a card, which I which I'm going to. So can I cancel that out? Which the one of them was. When I do that, I deal one damage to Claw. Which is nice, because I didn't I took no damage on that one. And then we're gonna do our encounter. Um when revealed, each player must choose to either spend or place two threat here. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. So that one gains one threat. And then that one's a crisis, so I have to take that one out. And then that one gains one. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, all right, okay. Um, all right, it is my go. I'm on Black Widow's side. Man. This sucks, too, because I have a really nice card to help me out here. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend three to play Covert Ops to get rid of all four of the threat. Or no, I can't do it. Oh, well, here. Exhaust to get rid of that. That goes away. Then play Covert Ops to get rid of all the threat on that scheme. I'm going to flip her over to this side, and I draw six cards. We're doing pretty good with Black Widow right now. I'm not doing horrible. So, one on there. Claw's going to scheme. Um, one boost. So that's going to be three scheme. Then, what do we get? <laughs> <sighs> well. and then i'm gonna have to, I have to take care of that to get rid of uh more stuff great um all right this is a fun time okay all right i gotta think about this because i have options and we all know the theme of my podcast. It's all about options. <sighs> so... We're gonna spend the two preparations right there to put, uh, or the two black gauntlets to do that, and then because of that, I draw a singular card. We're gonna spend four to play Nick Fury. Choose one, remove two threat from a scheme. Deal four damage to an enemy or draw three cards. I almost might kind of want to draw three cards. I think I might do that. Hold on. Ooh, two threat from scheme though. Yeah. Let's do that. It's the better call. Um, and then Nick Fury is going to thwart two off of that. So legal arms deal is going to go away. Um, I think what we're going to do... Crap. Do I play risky? We'll recover three. And then we'll flip over to Black Widow. That's what we'll do. And then everything readies up. And I draw five. Or up to five. There you go. Okay. So, Claw is going to put one scheme there. He's going to deal three damage to me. 
Um, I will use Nick Fury to block it all, so he's discarded. So that way, Black Widow can still stay in the fight. Um, then, one card. Attach the Claw. He now gains Retaliate, so it's that nonsense. Okay. And that's it. We're back to square one. I didn't pull off any of those either. <laughs> um. All right, so let's do this. So generate using Black Widow's Gauntlet. Generate this preparation. We are going to thwart with Black Widow. This and the Queen Carrier to play this grappling hook. And then I'll keep these other two cards in my hand, and I'm going to stay on Black Widow's side. Because I'm hoping I'll be able to chuck some damage at Claw if one of these preparations pops off. Because I don't necessarily want to attack Claw straight up right now. Which I think it would be a bad idea. I'm going to draw three. So I think ready's up. And, okay. Now, he will retaliate me, but it'll be worth it based off of stuff. So, put that there. Claw's going to boost. So, hold on. So, get rid of the boost icon with this one. So, that one boost icon no longer takes effect. Deal one damage to Claw. And it, does not, it is not considered an attack, so it does not retaliate. So then Claw is going to flip to form two. Still has that sound, solid sound body. And then he's going to start, he's going to start with 28. So two, 28. And then we have to find the Immortal Claw. Don't think. Oh, there it is. Of course. And gets an acceleration token. Okay. Um, and then he did drew a draw one boost icon on it. Can I do anything about that? No, I cannot. So I am going to take one damage. As I almost put a token on me. Okay. So. Is this card? That was, the, that was the other card. There we go. So then we have to do two of these, which is not horrible. And they're both. So that's an attachment. Attach to your identity card. Cannot ready or change form. Spend a tech and a punch resource to discard this card. And then that is a treachery. It is the shadows of the past. I will use my my um spy craft yeah i'll do that so my spy craft is going to discard it to basically discard this dealing a damage to claw then i have to reveal a new treachery which is a minion um after this card is revealed you must reveal another however i will use widow's bite to take out the weapons runner I do deal a damage to Claw, but it is an attack, so it retaliates against me. Um, so I gotta do another dude. Treachery. Discard cards from the encounter deck. The villain heals one damage for each boost icon discarded this way. And I can't stop it. Oh. I'll use Grappling Hook to get rid of it. I forgot that I had that out. Um, and then I deal another damage to Claw. 
That wasn't bad. Dealt three damage and I took two. What? Two? It's not horrible. Only problem is. Is that I can't get rid of. My. All tied up. Which is not good. Okay. Um. Sucks. Actually makes things a little more difficult. Not gonna lie. Um, alright. So what we're gonna do is that Power Justice to play Surveillance Team. And it gets three Snoop counters on it. And then I can exhaust it to remove one threat from the scheme. So we gotta get rid of Immortal Claw. I try to. I almost feel like I have to keep some of these cards in my hand. And I can't flip. I can exhaust. I just can't flip. Um, yeah, what I'll do, I'll, have, I'll thwart the rest of this off to get rid of the acceleration token. And then Claw is down to 15. All right, I draw two. Okay, as long as I don't get anything discarded, I should at least get that off. Um, so, one gets placed here. Claw's going to uh, attack me. So he does, he will guarantee we'll deal one plus whatever the other boost card is. Sucks I don't have any bonus stuff right now. Do one big old shuffle. So he's going to do four damage. And I need to put a threat here. And then um, I discard three cards from the encounter deck. Then um, we get a card. Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, oh no. Oh no. This could be it. So it's one. I was so close. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god. Oh, and the worst part too is that if it was if this tag deals damage, place one threat on the main scheme. I would have had to scheme up and then reveal a, mi uh, a minion. I probably would have been toast if I by the next turn. Ah, oh, Claw, you suck. Oh, I was doing much better that time at Black Widow. I was getting the, the combos with the preparation damage going on. That was working out really well. Man, that was, that was solid, though.